There you guys, update from the garage here. Finally got the rims painted back on the 72. You guys saw the front ones. The bling on it and everything. Finished up the back ones. Turned out pretty nice, I'd say. Just gave it a quick uh, wire wheel scuff and one coat of primer, one coat of paint, or uh, two coats of paint for the storm set the other night. Just got them back on the tractor. The hubs are adjusted, everything's done. It's ready to go for a burn. Um, and that's as much is going on. I just uh, got done tuning this thing up and then I uh, had to go out and get this. I've been doing flower beds with the spade and I said, why the hell am I doing these with the spade? I need to get a rotor tiller. So, surfing Craigslist and this thing popped up, 100 bucks. So, I shot over there and got it last night. I um, just got done. It's been sitting for a while, so I just got done. Uh, I washed it, cleaned it up, and everything. Of course, you got to wax it when it looks that nice. Uh, she cleaned up really, really good. A uh, little three and a half horse, I believe it's 24 inch uh, tine weed eater brand. Hadn't seen much use. Came from an older fella, so paint's really, really nice. Cleaned up pretty good. Um, three and a half horse Briggs. It's running kind of choppy and crappy. Let's see if I can get a <clears throat> good shot of this here. But um, what I noticed when I was using it is that idle screw right, th right there, right off the right side of the light. Um, I would adjust it, and then when I was using it, it would walk itself in and lean the motor out. So I got a little piece of a spring and fabbed that up in there, set the carb and adjusted it. So now... It should run. Let's see. Sorry, guys, one handed here. It runs really, really good. She runs really, really good for us jumpy and chopping and everything else. So I just got everything done. Uh, new spark plug in it. Pretty much that's all I did. The air cleaner is like brand new. Um, he filled it up with gas before I got it. So I just dumped some sea foam in there, run this tank through, clean this thing up a little bit. Uh, I thought maybe at first it would need a diaphragm or something, but it's it's running a lot better than when I first got it. So um I just got this up here for now. It's got a neat little clip to hold it, but um, you can tell. I bent the shit out of this thing. And then it's got a bolt in here with a clip on it to hold this up. So I'm gonna have to straighten that out and uh, get that set and adjusted. The nut and bolt were bad that were in here. Uh, the nut was missing, the bolt was too short, and the threads were all boogered up. So I just put a new one in there to hold the wheels. But it has adjustable wheels up and down in here. I got it set right there. And then it also came with a shorter spike that goes in there. So I figured, yeah, it wasn't too bad for a hundred bucks. Get this puppy. I'm sick of spading those flower beds. So this will cut my time down considerably. But yeah, I was like the fourth or fifth guy to call on it. He held it for me, so I thank him for that. Yeah, I can't believe how nice it cleaned up. It was just covered with grease and dirt, black when I got it. So, alright guys, this video is getting long enough. Um, hopefully I get a bit of the, this thing tilling. I did the back already just to try it out. And i am do another one tomorrow when I retail it. So, alright that guys, not too much else going in. Just doing little things. So... And maybe I'll do a cool start with this guy. Gotta do something cool in this bit besides a rotor tiller. Um, let's see. No, oh, wait, we gotta touch them off with. My hand, not a fake one, Keith. <laughs> uh, here we go.
All right, guys. There we go. We'll talk to you later.